how to connect stripe with quickbooks hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can connect your stripe account which is a very well known payment getaway to your account within quickbooks it is very easy and very simple all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to create a stripe account if you have already a stripe account Go ahead and click on sign in now we are going to see the dashboard within stripe normally everything is set but in my account i haven't already completed my uh, stripe account since i have some uh, documents that i have to set and also upload i'm not going to do that but i can access my uh, stripe account normally and i am going to use it for the sake of the video now let's go ahead to quickbooks QuickBooks is a very interesting marketplace that will let you uh, create uh, ebooks and also sell them in the marketplaces. So you are going to create an account within um, QuickBooks and you are going to set everything. Now, everything is set and the QuickBooks account is active. Now, to make everything goes well and you can add your uh, QuickBooks. Uh, or your payment method within a QuickBook, you need uh, the help of an app or an integration within a QuickBooks itself. And we are going to find this integration within the apps. Go ahead right there in uh, the left side bar. Go ahead and select the apps and click on overview or find apps. Now, it will showcase you right there the marketplace. So we are going to find the app. As you can see right here, I have connected my Shopify account. So whenever I create a product right there or make a something here, I am going to get it in my Shopify store. Now click on find apps. And now we are going to search for an extension or an app called Sinder. Sinder like that. Sinder. And here we have it. Synchronized Tribe, Shopify, Amazon, and PayPal. Here, this is the uh, most um, perfect app that will be get this mission done. So we are going to click on it. And here we have the app. You are going to see right here the key benefits. Connect all your sales channels to QuickBooks. Stripe, which is the uh, subject of today. Shopify, PayPal, Amazon, Square, etc. So we are going to get that app. If you are interested in reading the details about the app, go ahead and be free to read those. But in our case, we are going to click on add app now. Now we are going to allow Sinder to synchronize our account within QuickBooks. Click on authorize. And here we have the next step coming. Now wait for a few seconds. Here we have the company name. So we are going to set the company name. We are going to Create a company right here, or you can go ahead uh, and create a company to use this app. So go ahead and click on create company. This is very easy and will, it will not take a lot of time from you. So we are going to wait for a few seconds. We have created our company within the app, and it will be demanding to connect Sinder to synchronize Stripe and etc. So this is a step one of two. All you have to do is to connect, click on connect. And if you want, you can read those the lines by selecting connect. You are going to agree to share with the QuickBooks, your information and also with Sinder. Now we have some uh, options and also some steps to do. Tell us about you. How would you describe your role? Here we have a drop down menu. You are going to be prompt to select that role. Now. We're going to set ourselves as, for example, as marketing. I am on the team marketing. So then we are going to the next step. Now, here we have a video to let you see how you can fill these gaps and also these informations. Now we have the business name. We have the time zone, which is uh, required to set everything. I'm going to add or set any time zone. For example, I'm going to use the Europe. Uh, here I'm going to use the Europe, Europe right there on maybe Stockholm. 
So we have the uh, counter we are going to set. Let's say now we are going to put Stockholm, Sweden. Like that. Here we have the industry. You're going to choose the industry from those. You can um, select multiple industries, for example, automotive. I'm going to set entertainment, education, hospitality, travel. We have set uh, those three industries. So we are going to proceed to how long have you been in a business? Now we have uh, multiple choices. We have just starting less than one year, one, two, three years, three years plus. So we are going to set uh, the uh, uh, the duration that we have been in uh, the business so it is simple i am going to set it less than uh, one year you can set your correct uh, date and delay or also the duration do you have an accountant slash bookkeeper if you have one say yes please and if you don't you're going to set no i don't have an accountant or a bookkeeper Right there, you can pick a trusted accountant right here. It will give you a uh, some directions and some also some uh, suggestions to uh, uh, free uh, make an accountant or hire an accountant. Now, for the next step, we are going to click on this one, which is called next step. And we are on the select integrations. We have here a lot of integrations. The accounting system is Initially, QuickBooks, it is logical. And the sales integration, we have Shopify added to our QuickBooks. So we are not going to set a sales integration, nor Amazon, WooCommerce, eBay, or etc. But we are going to proceed to the payment integrations. Now we have Stripe, PayPal, Square, GoCardless, Authorize.net. So we are going to view all integration. You can see here the integration that you will not see right there. Go ahead and see. We have Afterpay, Amazon, BigCommerce, and etc. We have also Etsy, PayPal, Shopify, and more. So go ahead and click on Stripe. Now we are going to click on the next step. Right there, we have two options. Select Synchronization Mode. We have a note right there in order to change the synchronization mode later you will have to create a new organization in your sender account so this is a definitive uh, option make sure to choose the right option or else you are going to create another organization and uh, set this from start here we have per transaction and summary the most recommended option is to set the per transaction transaction synchronization will synchronize every single transaction to the books track product costs track taxes per state slash country track customer invoices track customers and track inventory quantities do we have something right here that i cannot understand for the cogs and etc so i'm going simply to set the transaction Take the time if you want to set the summary and if you see it that it is suitable for you, select it and finally click on the next step. Now we have QuickBooks Online connected. We have Stripe. You can connect it later, invite account owner or connect your own. Click on connect. Now we are going to see a Stripe account open. Now we are on sender. This is the Stripe platform, as you can see here, connects.stripe.com. Select the account, click on connect, and everything is set. But here, sender partners with Stripe for secure financial services. Here, it will guide me to make or provide the information that I am missing. When I finish them, I will be set and everything will be good. At this step, I will not continue to. Uh, connect the uh, two uh, platforms uh, cinder and also quickbooks or stripe but i will let you continue this with your own because this demand your own addresses and your own information i cannot give you or provide you with my personal information now 
when you finish this you are going to click on connect and congratulations you have set everything within your quickbooks that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one